want postgraduate students to know what is the A pattern and B pattern. I was always con confused during my ophthalmology residency. What is this A pattern? What is this B pattern? And I thought I'll make it simple for ophthalmology postgraduates. Why are we doing this? Because today I'm seeing a lot of these A pattern, B pattern patients. These are patients whose operation has been done. The squint has been done in any other city of the country. And now they are coming for second opinion that doctor, I am not happy with my squint surgery. Many a time the problem is in the A pattern and B pattern which was first of all not diagnosed by the doctor and therefore not treated by the doctor. That is why I thought that it is now time to make this video on A pattern and B pattern especially for doctors. Hi my name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about something quite difficult. Kaafi complicated wala topic hai jo hai A and B pattern squint. Now why am I making a video on this and iske pehle why have I not made a video on this before. So the first thing is it is fairly complicated so it is really not necessary for patients to know about do they have A pattern or V pattern, right? So that is why I never made the video. The reason why I am making it now is because I want postgraduate students to know what is the A pattern and B pattern. I was always con confused during my ophthalmology residency. What is this A pattern? What is this B pattern? And I thought I'll make it simple for ophthalmology postgraduates. Now, if you are in MBBS, uh, I think this will be too much for you. So you can skip this video. Um, so ophthalmology postgraduates, uh, squint specialists, uh, people who are doing fellowships in squint and uh, they have not got the right understanding ki ye kya hai, to unke liye hai. <coughs> General ophthalmologists, jinko A pattern, B pattern, squint ke baare mein nahi pata hai, they can also watch this video and learn. Ye kyo hum kar rahe? Kyunki aaj kal mujhe, I'm seeing a lot of these A pattern, B pattern patients. These are patients jinki operation ho chuki hai. Squint ka operation ho chuka hai kisi aur shahar mein of India and now they are coming for second opinion that doctor I am not happy with my squint surgery. Hua to hai operation but I am not happy and the doctors are unable to uh, diagnose what is the problem. They are like primary gaze mein to there is no squint so what is the problem with the patient and many a time the problem is in the A pattern and B pattern which was first of all not diagnosed by the doctor and therefore not treated by the doctor that is why I thought ki abhi time hai to make this video on A pattern and B pattern especially for doctors who are treating squint in other cities also for patients who are very knowledgeable uh, kuch patients khud hi aate hai and kehte hai ki I think I have a pattern is Exotropia or a pattern exotropia. Uh, they must have done so much of Google searching to really understand that unko a pattern or b pattern squint hai. Uh, so that is why we are making this video. So let's get into it. Bit complicated, but I'll go slow. Take it. So a pattern and b pattern. Let's first cover a pattern. A pattern ka matlab hai ki when you look up, eyes go in, and when you look down, eyes go out like a A, right? Like an A, simple. So that is A pattern. When you look up, eyes go in. When you look down, eyes go out. Now, if you have A pattern exotropia, right? Exotropia hai, in primary gaze, eyes are out. That is when we say it's exotropia. Ab A pattern may, that means the exotropia becomes lesser when you look up. So better in up case. When you look up, it is better. Now, if this is better, then the chin will drop, chin down, so that we can get this up gaze in primary gaze. So, the patient will have a chin down position in A pattern exotropia because the squint is better in up gaze. Okay, all these three may come to you as a MCQ, as a viva question. So, this is very important. <clears throat> now, A pattern isotropia. Isotropia meaning your eyes are in. Right now, in A pattern, if the eyes are in, when does it get better? The eyes when they go out, right? Isotropia primary may it's in, it gets better when you look down. And now, if you want to bring this down gaze to primary gaze, how will we do? We will do chin up position. So, A pattern isotropia is better in down gaze, and these patients have a chin up position. 
uh, what are the conditions, multiple uh, conditions in which this can happen, especially if they have a mongolite squint, uh, mongolite slant of the eyes. I will go into that a little later in the video. Um, in Down syndrome, we may see it. In Brown syndrome, we may see it. So this is A pattern. Now let's go into V pattern. Now V pattern, in this, the squint is more when you look up. The, I mean the eyes go out when you look up and the eyes go in when you look down. Just like a V. Eyes go out when you look up, eyes go in when you look down. V pattern. Now V pattern exotropia. Meaning in primary days the eyes are out. They get worse obviously when you look up and they get better when you look down. Because it looks better when you look down, you have a chin up position. So V pattern exotropia better in down case. And they have a chin up position, quite commonly seen in uh, inferior oblique overaction. Then V pattern isotropia. Again, primary gaze is isotropia, meaning the eyes are in. Obviously, they get worse when you look down. They get worse when you look down and they are better when you look up. So the V, which was iso, is slightly better when you look up. And that is why you tend to have a chin down position. So V pattern isotropia better in up case and chin down position. And this is commonly seen in superior oblique palsy who have a lot of double vision when they're looking at a book, when they're going down steps because they have this V pattern isotropia. Maybe in primary case, they're completely normal. They're completely okay. And the person who's checking them, they're like, you don't have anything. But because you've not checked them in up case and down case, you miss these V patterns and A patterns of the screen and really when the patient is going down the steps they're having a problem because they're seeing double when they're reading a text because they're seeing down they have a problem right so a simple way to see if there is a palsy over there or multiple other reasons why you may have v-pattern isotropia so i hope this helps you to understand chin up chin down which is better and the best thing to see is is your squint different when you look up and when you look down now let's go into how to treat this now let's go into the treatment of A pattern and V pattern squint. Now, if you are a patient, then you will not doctor what you right? You will trust that the doctor will know. Your work is just to let the doctor know that doctor, my squint is worse when I look up or worse when I look down. Just itna. Ya fir mujhe double dikta hai zada jab main upar dikta hu ya fir niche dikta hu. Ye, if you tell the doctor this, they will be looking for A pattern and V pattern. Bas itna hai. You do not need to go into kaisa operation hoga, kaunsa operation hoga, kaun karega, kaise hoga, laser se hoga ki nahi. But this part of the video is especially for doctors who are treating or doctors who want to treat. Ya fir ap refer bhi kar rahe ho kisi surgeon ko just for you to know ki ha. Iska treatment is not like baki ke squint. Simple squint surgery nahi hai ye. Just itna bhi aapko samaj mein aaya after this video is enough. So let's get into it. In A pattern, generally jo eyes hai, aap jab eyes ko dekhenge, to unki aakhe aise upar ki taraf jati hui nazar aayengi, which is also called a mongoloid slant. Meaning the eyes are looking up. Of course, I have exaggerated it, but eyes are looking up. It is a very good thing. It is a very good thing. It is a very good thing. It is a very good Those you want to move up, right? If you are operating on the medial rectus. And the lateral rectus muscles, hai, those you want to move down. So that you are just trying to make it straight. Eyes aise thi, mongoloid slant tha, but inside jab aap muscles ko operate kar rahe ho, you want to make it straight. The same thing when you have a V pattern, V pattern squint hai, to usme jo hai, wo anti-mongoloid slant hai. Of course, I have exaggerated it just to show you. To isme obviously the other way around surgery hota hai, isme jo lateral rectus hai, we move it up and jo medial rectus hai, we move it down. Depending ki aap konsa wala muscle operate kar rahe hai. So we move the lateral rectus up and the medial rectus down. Simple. And V pattern may try to notice if there is an inferior oblique overaction or inferior oblique ka kuch bhi problem hai that you can notice by torsion testing or by just your normal 
एक्स्ट्राक्टर मसल्स का मूवमेंट कि इज इट गेटिंग डज इट गो अप शूट है इन 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 साइड गेज एंड ऑल तो इन्फीरियर ओब्लिक मसल का एक्शन आपको चेक करना है इन वी पैटर्न एंड सुपीरियर ओब्लिक का एक्शन आपको चेक करना है इन ए पैटर्न सो ओब्लिक्स आर अनदर थिंग दैट यू वांट टू चेक व्हेन देयर इज एनी पैटर्न गेज सो आई होप इस वीडियो से आपको काफी समझ में आया होगा कि राइट right, पहली चीज तो ऐसा कुछ होता भी है कि ए पैटर्न वी पैटर्न स्क्विंट फिर ए पैटर्न एक्सोट्रोपिया एंड इजोट्रोपिया में काफी डिफरेंस है एंड हाउ टू ट्रीट इट थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो हमारा पूरा एक प्लेलिस्ट है ऑन ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्क्विंट ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्क्विंट सर्जरीज एंड वी हैव अ सेपरेट प्ले लिस्ट फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ आई एक्सरसाइजेस येस लास्ट नोट जनरली आई एक्सरसाइजेस ये पैटर्न को कोलैप्स नहीं कर पाती है ये पैटर्न कोलैप्स करने के लिए आपको सर्जरी की जरूरत पड़ती है सो दैट इज माई वन थिंग फॉर पेशेंट्स हो से कि वन सर्जरी हैज बीन डन बट आफ्टर द सर्जरी आई सी दैट देर इज अ पैटर्न विच इज लेफ्ट बिकॉज प्रीवियस सर्जन डिड नॉट नो दैट देर वॉज अ पैटर्न स्क्विंट सो उसके लिए वी हैव टू ऑपरेट वी कैन नॉट डू विथ आई एक्सरसाइजेस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट टू आर चैनल